What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillig, Ezekiel Milligan, the villain for the trilogy. And we are back on Little Goody 2 Shoes. It's been a minute since I recorded anything. I've been doing a lot of streaming lately, right? And I've just been making videos out of that. But, um, shoot, by the time y'all see, I, uh, I think this is my fourth recording. I don't know. Little Goody 2 Shoes. Yes, I found out that this game is actually pretty short. So at this point in time, I want to go in and get this game finished with. So I can, um, you know, so I can have a little more space open for other stuff. I forgot what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Last episode, I believe we got one of the necessary parts for um the basket. After. Uh, uh. A pretty bossy boss fight. Holy fuck. Just like, just, just, just remembering that shit is kind of, I mean, I can't remember it too well, but just, just remembering that, just remembering it is making me a little nervous. So let's talk to Rose and Marine. I don't trust this bitch no more. I remember she was acting weird. I, I remember she was being weird. I don't trust her anymore. Good morning, Elise. Fuck you. Have you completely lost your wits, Rosa Marine? Last night in the woods, what were you thinking? Say what were you, what were you thinking saying? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't. Uh, you weren't yourself, Rose Marine. What do you mean? Out with it. Oh, don't give me that now. Oh, but I... oh, Elise, I didn't even step foot in the woods. Okay, so maybe Rose Marine isn't the witch. The witch was posing as Rosemary. Per chance, per chance. You were with me the entire time, Rosemary. No, I wasn't. I couldn't follow you into the woods. The trees blocked my path. You went on ahead no matter how much I called for you and I... I did wait for you, but you never came back for me. If that wasn't Rosemary, then who in the Lord's name... Are you all right, Elise? No, nigga! You look a little... Rosemarine. You can talk to me. You don't have to keep it all to yourself. You know, I... I had a dream about you. It was... Please. I saw you and your grandmother and... It felt like I was seeing your... <laughs> my path to finding you in Kieferberg? It's fate. Oh, at least it's fate. Mm. Fate, you say? You still don't believe it, do you? Hard not to after last night. Oh, did you get it? Huh? <laughs> Why the testament, Elise? Now that you mention yes, I... Those crows, they... I was offered a strand of my own hair and... Oh, Elise, that's wonderful. All you need to do is prepare to be eaten. Eaten? Remember, these are gifts you're bringing him, Elise. But it's hair. A part of your mortal body, yes. Gifts for the host. Food, drink, and good company. Food, you say? The tender flesh needs to be food? Right, you look tired, Elise. Is everything alright? No! I uh, feel like I'm losing my wits, Rosemary. Please. Come now, let's head out to work. Everything's falling into place, Elise. You'll see. Some bullshit. It's annoying, cause I have to bring her out to work. If I don't bring her out to work, she'll cause trouble. If I do bring her out to work, I'll starve to death. Oh, snap. Oh, there's so many crows. What are these crows doing here? Elise, is everything all right? This can't be good. I'd best hurry. Yeah, if I got my way, pussy. Oh, damn. Yeah, something bad's happening. Uh-uh. What's up with all these crows? What's all this? 
I don't think I've ever seen so many crows at once. Come, Rosemary, we must find out what's going on. Do we have to? I ain't trying to do all that though, bro. Like, nigga, I'm poor. I'm trying to get to work, bro. Tell me you're hiding from the crows. I'm not going anywhere near those dreadful things. So this is all your fault. What? Oh, Joe's just being taken for a fool, but I know you. But because of what I said earlier, all these awful goings on. I understand it's frightening, Mrs. Odilda, but you can't. Oh, these crows weren't enough. Even our children are hexed now. What? Is... What is she talking about? Plot twist. It is actually our fault because we're like the witch's daughter or whatever the fuck. No, that's definitely what's going on. <laughs> we're the witch's daughter, so this really is like our fault. The witch is only the only reason the witch is over here is because she wants us. I mean, I feel like. Unless, unless, unless that, that, like, that's what they want us to think and they're actually going to, like, twist the plot. I feel like that's pretty, pretty obvious. No? I'll take good care of it, father. There's nothing to see here, Elise. You'd best head back to town. You were the one who first saw these crows, weren't you, Elise? Not as though you folks believe me when it mattered. I've said it last night and I'll say it again. You're hiding. It matters not, old Jochen. We must focus on the matter at hand. We all had our fill of trouble last night, didn't we? We don't need any more. We don't need any more yelling, that's for certain. Now, they didn't steal that much grain, the folks. How much did they steal, Mr. Gustav? About a sack in total. We got here in time to prevent the worst. The darn birds were building a nest in the oven. We ought to give it a good scrubbing later. Doesn't seem like they're keen on attacking us, Elise. We've been locked up. We've we've locked it up and trusted you get here with the key for now. I appreciate the trust. Of course, especially after all of yesterday's going on. Because he was stolen from or because he has no horses to steal the grain with. Who's to stand guard here? Before we get to that, Bernhard, there's something I'd like to say. We're all well aware of what happened last night, however. We ought to stick together, folks, now more than ever. You heard the man. <laughs> Kiefer Berg is what we make of it. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. I ought to head back to the church. Is Apfel feeling better, Father? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking into, Finn. Mm -hmm. You'd best go with Elise. Lepkuchin will fill you in, I'm certain. Will do, Mr. Gustav. What the fuck? What's going on? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? What 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 the, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Hmm. I was wondering, Elise. Mr. Bernhard said the crows were trying to make a nest in the oven. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's a cozy little nook. I don't see what's so. So there's an oven in the windmill, right? There's always been an oven in the windmill. What what's your oh. the tender flesh, Elise? Wouldn't this be a good way to prepare it? Oh. Making bread out of it, you say? Maybe you could ask about Todd if they let you in. You That's rather risky, Rosemary. I suppose, but I can't think of it any other. I can't think of any other way either. It's worth a try, I'd say. All right, I'll see what I can find out. I don't. I don't think I want that. I don't think I. No, I don't like that idea at all. Actually, I really don't like that idea. They snuck through the roof. When did you realize the crows were in the windmill? Hannah collects the flower this morning. He was the one who gave the alert. You've locked it up, have you? Keep the birds out or they'll take all our grain. You could draw them away. Maybe if you scattered some grain elsewhere, Mr. Gustav, then the windmills could still be available in. We've thought about that. Nobody was in favor of wasting any more grain, lass. We ought to keep a close eye on the windmill, at least. You can never work with Yuga, perhaps. No, of course. Better days will come, lad. When I'm settled in Primeldorf, God willing. Don't make hasty decisions, Yugen. What is it, Elise? 
You're rather trusted, Mr. Yugen. With the key to the windmill, even. The last is right, Yugen. It's a shame for you to leave. Nothing I can do about that, folks. There's nothing left for me here in Kieferberg, you see? Still, I think everyone would miss you, Mr. Yugen. Please reconsider. No, I've made up my mind, but I do appreciate it, at least. Even this key, I'll only be holding on to it until the evening. Until the evening? Too much responsibility, lass. I'm not too comfortable with it in my pocket, I must admit. Why not hand it over to someone else, then? I could take it to Mr. Gustav if you like. That's all right, Elise. There's no better place than Kiefer... There's no, there's no better place than Kieferberg, lad. Okay. The fuck? The fuck was that? On everything I... Oh! That was this little nigga right here. Don't do that. Yo, get these crows out of here. Go somewhere. Y'all pissing me off. Go off for that now. Woman flowers. Ah! Shut up. Um, what's her name again? Lab Kuchin. Uh, it's nice to see you, Elise. You've heard about... You've heard of Abfell, I suppose, I assume. No, I haven't. Abfell was very ill last night, Elise. He had a very high fever. He was delirious. Oh, the poor lad. I can't bear looking at his little hands. What about them, Mrs. Dor Dorothea? It's best you hear it from me, Elise, so you get the real story. You've been up all night, Lizbeth. We can tell her. Abfell is fine now, as you can see, but last night he... I was awoken by a moaning, speaking nonsense. His fever was boiling him alive, I... We called for Father Hans and brought him to the church, but... Abfell has never been so ill. I thought I'd lose him. He wasn't all there either, kept mumbling to himself, and I... I don't know how, but his hands were injured. It's horrifying, and they were so bloody. As if they were pecked by something, I can't explain it. Please, collect yourself, Mrs. Lisbeth. That's right, Mrs. Lisbeth, take deep breaths. At first, he'd caught the goat sick- At first, I thought he caught the goat sickness somehow, but... It doesn't explain his hands or what happened to my goats. Oh, this is my disgrace. It's alright, Mrs. Lisbeth, we're all here for you, it's alright. What about the goats? Fucking hell! Must have happened when we were praying for Apfel at the church. When Miss Elizabeth went to fetch some dry clothes, she happened upon two of her goats lying on the ground. They'd bled to death, their tongues had been ripped out. Sachiko? Their heads severed too. You can rest assured, we'll help you, Mrs. Elizabeth. I shall arrange for a doctor to come as soon as possible. Oh, what am I to do with one sick goat, father? We'll make certain you and the children don't go without, Mrs. Elizabeth. You're welcome to have supper with Finn and I any time, Elizabeth. Thank you, but I don't have the strength, Dorothea. Mrs. Dorothea will be looking after Atfell, Mrs. Elizabeth. You best go home and rest for the day. Of course, father. Thank you. Come, I'll walk you with Atfell. I'll walk you and Atfell home. This is awful, Elise. Mm. I ought to pay them a visit later. Damn, shit is getting crazy. It's silly hour. No, it's not silly hour. It's one thing after another, isn't it? First things first, I ought to figure how I'm gonna get my hands on that key. Look at that, bro. I'm tired. All right, first I'm gonna go on a date with Rosemary. Then after that, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do tasks. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, 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 boy. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, 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 boy.
Why does she want to meet there? There's, there's demons in there. There she is. You and that coat of yours, Rosarine. Rosemarine. Oh, Elise. oh, Elise, there's no need to be jealous. Rosemarine. I'm not jealous of a goat, you. <laughs> Isn't she, Fluck? <laughs> Just kick that little nigga off. Bah! Huh. How would you like to sleep with him out in the granary, Rosemarine? <sighs> oh, I'd have Fluck to hold close. I wouldn't be cold at all. <laughs> Damn. Elise, you're not winning. Elise, you're not winning this. You gotta lock in. For goodness sake. Why you? Ah, <gasps> oh, Flop, don't get so close to the edge. You be careful too, Rosemary. I can see everything from here, can't you? You. I suppose. Are you right, Elise? Something's on your mind, Elise, I can tell. Can't even be left to brood in peace, can I? You're going through some changes, that's all. Some changes, you say. Your path will become clearer and clearer, you'll see. I don't know, bruh. Not now, Rosemary, I'm not ready. You're still overwhelmed, I see. It's difficult not to be, wouldn't you say? Why don't we head back to town, Elise? Over here fighting fucking demons every damn day. How am I not gonna? How can I not be overwhelmed? Over here facing demons. Again? Oh, that's later today. I'm about to say, like, I'm about to say, like, I'm busy, bro. Unlike you, Rosemary, I have a job. Blew my first paycheck on strippers. Move! You filthy crows! Whatever she wants, I doubt I have it. Puppy. It's you! It's enough, I'm not giving you one more crumb. Oh. But, but you promised me some lab kitchen. Oh. I promise you nothing, mercy! Folks uh, already think it's strange, Elise, that you knew about the crow since yesterday. So. You know what? Why don't you go ahead? Who's to believe a scrawny little squealer like you anyhow? Oh, Jochen does, Elise. Mrs. Odilly does too. Oh, do they? What are you telling them then? <gasps> that I saw you talking to those crows yesterday. There was a golden one too, wasn't there? Why you? <laughs> Following you about town is truly so fun, Elise. There's no... I don't. Starve, pussy. Out with it. Off with you, Mandy. I'm not giving you anything, now leave. Oh, you promise you? So. Why don't you tell them then? I will tell them, I'll tell them, Elise. That you saw me speaking to some birds, as if they believe you. I'll tell them what you said too. Really? Is that so? What did I say oh. then? You said that, uh, you. Hurry it up. Out of my sight, Molly. <laughs> Bring me some hearty soup tomorrow or else. Or else what, you little? What the hell with it? Fuck that dumb bitch. I'm over here broke as fuck in the crib. Starving. Eating scraps. Half dead every fucking night. And she's trying to extort me for food as if I got shit to spare. Fuck her. Oh, she die. I wish her a painful fucking death. Chicken, 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 chicken. Am I losing my mind? Are you going to eat a lot of eggs, Elise? What else is there to eat in this town anyhow? Oh, you have enough for a hog or two, I'm certain. Huh? Anyhow, won't you fetch me a few eggs for supper? Oh, 
Fuck no. Rosemary, you just gonna have to make a little bit of trouble, bro. Um, I, I can't. I don't. I don't have. I don't have the the, the hunger for you. Fuck you, bro. Why? Give me my money. Give me my money. Rich niggas, rich. Understood, Maddie. Oh, but my aunt is going to. What have you done now, Molly? Uh, at least it's not what you think. I didn't. She stole one of Mrs. Elma's buns she had cooling on the windowsill. No, I didn't. She, she gave it to me and... Mrs. Elma had me give Molly here a good earful. Does your auntie not feed you, Molly? It's complicated. She doesn't? I'm still a growing lass, at least. Eight buns a day isn't enough. Eight? Either way, Missy. It's Muffy. Why can't any of you... Stealing is never justified, all right? You can come to me if you ever need anything. If only Elise was as kind as you. Nigga, I'm suffering! I'm starving every night! I'm starving every night! I will die if I was any more kind! Goodness! I almost starved to death yet last episode, didn't I? I like, bro, every single day I almost starved to death! I, I move on to the next day with half, with half hunger. I cannot afford to just give food away. <laughs> give me some pretzels. Dang it, Mindy! <sighs> oh, you didn't have to bring me so many. Although I'm not complaining. I did my best, I suppose. And it shows, at least. Here you go. Thank you, Mrs. Alma. She didn't cause any trouble today, did she? Thank God. I'm starving though, I need to get some. Uh, I need to get some food, but I also wanted to get. I also wanted to get a sanity potion. She is so attractive. Do I have anything to sell? Nah. But I got the Walpurgis oil and I got a a thick sausage to eat. So what I'm gonna do, what's my suspicion looking like? I don't, wait at least. There you are, Lassie, huh? We need to have a word with you, Elise. A word with me, you say? Your cousin's been going around town spreading nonsense, Elise. Such as? Saying crows are nothing to fret about, for instance. Uh, she's a kind soul, Mrs. Alma. She isn't afraid of any animals, on the contrary. I see how true that may be, at least, but still. We're to be wary of such things, not make little of them. I understand, Mrs. Alma. That's not all, lass. She's been asking about Epfel's fever, you see. She's a worrier, Mr. Ludwig. Everyone's worried about Epfel. Why wouldn't she be? Well, that's a fair point, at least. I don't think there's any point in making too much of things, Mrs. Alma. Make sure I not bring Rosemary to work with me. I have to deal with this every day. Whew, I handled it. Rosemary is gonna get me freaking hung. He's gonna have me burnt at a stake. I know, Elise. I haven't said anything yet, have I? You don't have to, Elise. What am I to do as you love, Kuchin? At least tell me you'll get a good night's sleep tonight. If nobody else breaks into a fever, I might. Here's your bread, Elise. What's on your mind, love, Kuchin? Things that would upset you, Elise. I'm not certain you trust me at all. I trust you enough not to ask you about it. You keep coming back to this, love, but there's... I meant it, Elise. You don't have to tell me. Whatever it is, you can't tell me. I won't pry. You trust me that much? Even if you truly were the witch. Lepkuchin! I mean it, Elise. I trust you'll tell me a time whenever you're ready. For someone who's so attentive to others, Lepkuchin, you're not... I'll see you about time tomorrow. Ah. 
Hey, that's a day one right there. Like that's a that's an OG. Oh my goodness, these crows. Elise. Elise, come quick. What's the matter, Jacob? It's Apfel, he's gone missing. What? Oh, please, come quick, Elise. I'm too hungry for this shit. <laughs> I'm moving off an empty stomach. I'm moving off a crumb in my belly, bro. We must go look for him. That's right. We can't sit about waiting forever. No. What's going on here? I felt has gone missing, Elise. <sighs> Hopefully the lads will find him on their patrol. They will happen upon him, I'm certain. They don't know he's missing, father. <laughs> By the time they're back, my poor baby could have been... We all need to remain calm. Calm, father? My boy is missing! Lord knows if he's alright, let alone if the worst has happened. We all knew those crows were an omen. Out with it. Not this again, you old wretch. Ought to have taken the lad to the witch. What a horrible thing to say, old Jochen. You old geezer. You truly have no decency, do you? That's enough. We cannot give in to hysteria, brethren. Who would think the lads went out in search of crows? The crows were a threat, lass. That's it. I'm going to look for him myself. Anyway. I'll go. Let me be the one to go, Mrs. Elizabeth. Mm. It's best we wait for the lads. I can't allow. Oh, will you really, Elise? Now there's a brave lass. Oh, but Father Hans is right. It's dangerous. Leave it to me, Mrs. Elizabeth. Oh, Elise. I do not condone your disobedience, Elise. I do. I need you to go, at least, for Angelica's sake as well. Truly, the poor lass can't be without a mother. We can lend a hand whenever you need, Elise. You'd best make certain you have enough food and matches, dear. I'll be here, Elise. Let me know when you're leaving. Y'all give me food for free, though, right? Little goody two-shoes. Considering the fact that I'm about to go and, like, you know... Rescue your son from where, wherever he is. You, you'll give me some food, right? You. Oh, Elise, maybe it's best one of us goes with you. I'll be fine, Mrs. Mac Mac Tilde. You can always change your mind, Elise. Love Kuchin's right, Elise. Who's to go if I don't, Freya? Well, that's. It's a good thing that you volunteered, Elise. You're a capable lass. I'm sure you'll find them. Thank you, Miss Ariane. I'm wondering how we didn't notice. It's no use blaming ourselves now, Mrs. McKelday. But whatever the fuck your name is. Children told Mrs. Dorothea they lost sight of Apfel sometime before nightfall. Apfel was feeling all right, and maybe that. What, Freya? Perhaps he felt ill and didn't want anyone to fret. Oh, don't say such a thing. Couldn't have wandered too far. It'll be fine. Got lost. May the Lord be with you. Lord always with me. The Lord stay with me for real. Move. And dickhead. I forgot. For, shut, stop doing that. The woods down here. You don't look important, so I doubt I have to Google you. Right here. Acorn. That's helpful. That'd give your boy some healthy health. Oh lord, we're going in the silly hours. We're going in the silly hour. Here I am again. I ought to find Atfell and fast. Ooh. 
What makes you think he's here? Well, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, bro just disappeared. He has to be somewhere in the silly hour. It makes sense, I guess. Huh? Oh, hell no. Nah. Pro's trying to tell me something, I suppose. That could at least let me run. This isn't where I was yesterday, is it? Apfel. Apfel, can you hear me? I have to find him. Goodness knows what could have happened to him by now. If I touch this wall. <gasps> yeah, I figured, I figured, I figured. Okay. A mosaic slab. What's this thing, a tile? Ugh, careful. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah, oh, these things again? Ignorance is bliss. Has nobody ever told you that? Plenty of times, I suppose. To be unable to grasp how fortunate we are until it's too late. Charmingly tragic, isn't it? I don't see what's so charming about it. You'll come face to face with it too. The ruin is grief of your biggest, heaviest regret. What's yours then? Same as yours, we all share the same penitence. Talking to girls like this is never a very pleasant experience, is it? It looks like we have everything we need. Oh, that's a tight fit, that's a tight fit. His wall, it's a mosaic. Missing pieces. That's what I said, thank you very much. It's one of those puzzles, I assume. Okay, got another slab. Oh my goodness, I hate these things. This is my house. What? No, it can't be. I'm imagining things. I don't have time for this nonsense. How to find Apfo. Did we get nothing from that? No. No. Give me something. No. It's hidden, right? That's what it is. It's hidden. It's hidden. Yeah, I got I to gotta look a little bit, right? All of that frustration and anger for no reason. Let's go. What's this? This is my house. That's my house. I must be losing my mind. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Oh, thank you. They all in my dang crib, bro. Why y'all burning my stuff? Y'all done messed up my crib. What is this? My house. My progeny, Elise. Who's there? Come closer, Elise. Delve deeper into my grove. What in the Lord's name? Your fate, Elise. Your genesis is in the tapestry. No. I don't have a choice, okay. I would have just ran out. That's Freya. That woman, she wished for a child of her own. At his doorstep, she kneeled and she prayed, not to me, but to him. My grove became the vessel. 
My soil, the babe's mortal body. My very womb, they celebrated their agreement. Oh, this is the witch. From him came what I lack, what I fail to lay my hands upon. A human soul to be nurtured in my womb and later given to her as her daughter. When in truth, it's me your body belongs to, Elise. What is this? There's something under that tapestry. I've, I've already I've already got myself prepared to... Elise, Elise, why are you stupid? Ew. What is this dough with insides have been... My womb used for that woman's wish. I was used, 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 used. Preparing to run. What in the Lord's name is going on here? What are these voices trying to tell me? You're wearing my brooch still, huh? What is one to do when the Lord fails them, would you say? Wait, what are you? Our union was favored by the Lord himself, and yet my inability to bear a child drove a wedge between us. Who are you? So I did what I could. I resorted to his blessing instead. I brought him my beloved in exchange for a baby. That's granny. That's your grandma. Elise, that's your grandma. Wait, you can't be. All I can say to you, Elise, who's following in my in my steps, is that this is what my soulmate would have wanted me to do. For my sake, for our union's sake, and for yours as well. That last, it's as if she knew me. I don't know what's going on here, but can't stay here any longer. I ought to find and save Appel. Apfel. Elise, Elise. We need to stop, okay? We need to stop this. We can't we can't continue this 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 thing that you're doing, all right? Now is the time to put an end to it. Oh lord. Ooh, that's hard. Absa, hold tight, I'll get you out of there. Uh, Let's get you out of there and go home. The woodland, this grove, it's aching. This is the witch, that's the witch. Rosemary, your flesh, your blood, your love. All that's rightfully mine, my progeny. This? this, this stinks not, Rosemary. I can give you all that you desire. What, my beloved daughter? What in the Lord's name? What are you? This last, Rosemary. Is she the one your heart desires? What, what are you? They're coming. We will meet again. Apfel. No, go away! Go away! Shoot! A vile stench, a vile stench. Tainting our grove, tainting our grove. With it. It's you. The lad's staying where he is, lassie. The lad's staying, the lad's staying. Hurry it up. Apfel, come now. Elise, quickly, Atfil, we have to leave this place. That creature's brought him right into our bricks, lass. We're not about to waste a hearty meal. A hearty meal, a hearty meal. Oh, my eye. Come, Atfil. 
We'll curse you, we'll curse you. Dare not defy me. Leave the lad. We'll devour him, we'll devour him. Fell, run! I can't, I can't move, Elise. What in the Lord's name? No! I hate these type of puzzles. Moving on their own. We have to leave this place, I fell. Anyway. Come, we have to move. Uh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Oh, what the hell? What happened? I ain't even mean for him to fall. All right, we're making progress. What? I'm starting to suspect. There we go, I did it. I'm starting to suspect that thing was freaking luck. Like, like sometimes that the the block the good blocks would just fall down for no reason. At least my eye. Where are we going? Watch your step, Epho, we'll find a way. I played a game like this on cool math one time. It was so freaking fire. I, ne I never got to beat it, though, unfortunately. I need you back up here with me, gang.
What did I even hit? Oh, my goodness. That took some focus. Elise, I can't see where I'm going. Wait. Don't wander around too much, Atfell. Try to follow my voice. Elise, where are you? It's all right, Atfell. Walk in a straight line. I'll be watching over you. I feel dizzy. Trust me, Atfell. I'm right here. Together, Elise. I must run to make sure I don't lose sight of him. You're a whore. What happened? Wait, what happened? This is a terrible time for my stick drift to start acting up. Huh? Seriously, what happened? I see what's going on. I see. He's he's walking into stuff. He's walking into stuff and getting and he's he's getting himself killed. Freaking Apfel is getting killed. Yeah, oh my goodness. You a liability. Hey. What the frick was that? <laughs> Fuck you. How do I, I... I can never tell what tree is going to do it, though. I can never tell what tree is going to do it. I won't say this is really difficult. It's just... But Let's not say bad words, Jake, okay? Kill yourself! No, I just got there! I fell! I fell! Elise, let's just leave, man. Let's just leave. Leave the little kid. Don't worry about him. We'll have to we'll, we'll have to tell we'll have to tell um Mrs. Lizbeth that uh I, I don't know he got uh, uh taken by the wolves or something, bruh. Crap! 
Like, I don't got nothing against kids. Like, I love kids. Pause. Pause. I don't got nothing against kids, but like, you're not about to catch me doing all of this for one measly little kid. Make another one. Like, get get to get to back bending and just make another one. Cry about it. Why don't you go into the forest and do it? But then again, Elizabeth did volunteer, so this really her fault. I shouldn't be yelling at I shouldn't be yelling at um what's his face? Apfel. I need to be yelling at Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth, Elise. At least for volunteering to do this crap. Did it. Are you all right, Apfel? Elise, I feel dizzy. Wait for me, I'm coming for you. Just lay down. Bro, please just lay down. What is that? Oh, here he is. Elise! I'm with you now, Apfel. It'll be all right. All right. Let's go now, back to Kieferburg. Whew, that wasn't too difficult. It was just trial and error. Mama! Oh, thank heavens you're all right. Mama, Apfel! I was so scared, Mama. You're all right now, my boy. Oh, I thought I'd never see you again. It's all right, my loves. We're together now. What a relief. Good Lord, Elise. You really did find him. Mm. Wasn't easy, that's for certain. Folks told us about it. We were about to set off after you. This is a moment to celebrate, folks. Prepare us a feast, Wilma. We're drinking to Elise tonight. Please don't drink me. Oh, how wonderful. I'll get right to it. We can't compromise the festival, Wilma. There's nothing better to celebrate than this, Father. The last ride, Father. We ought to celebrate. <laughs> to the end, folks. To the end. What are you doing here, Rosemarine? You weren't coming back, so I came back for you. I'm sorry, I... I saw you coming back with Apfel. <sighs> he got lost in the woods, so I went to look for him, is all. Oh, but is he all right? No. Say, Rosemarine, you've been home this whole time, haven't you? Uh, of course. Yes, I made supper and everything. You were taking so long, I thought... Come, at least we ought to celebrate. Uh -huh. I'll be right there, Mr. Heinrich. You head on home, Rosemary. Uh, yes. Oh, all right. I won't take too long, all right? I'll be home waiting for you, Elise. Get to stepping, you stupid freaking crows. I'm about to start hunting y'all for sport. No, not even for sport. I'm finna start hunting y'all for hatred. Whew. We survived this silly hour. Eva Burgo owes you a great debt, lass. Lord knows what could have happened had it not been for you. I was lucky is all. No, Elise, I owe you an apology. 
What matters is that app fell safe and sound, father. Iron Rich is right. We have good reason to celebrate. Bottom is up, everyone. To Elise, our bravest lass. To Elise, to Elise. Oh, you don't have to. Nonsense, lass. This is better than the festival even. A great deal better indeed. It's our chance to unwind, folks. Why don't you grab some ale and go grab Freya for a dance, Elise? Ah, uh, yes. We're drinking all night, lads. <laughs> to Elise, to Elise. Heck yeah. All right, I'm about to die. Oh, oh, I saw something. I heard something, what is that? Oh, it's that stupid freaking noise. There you are, Elise, the girl of the hour. Are you all right, Mr. Yugen? Not you too, Elise. A man has to make most of what he's got left. Don't tell me ale is all you've got, Mr. Yugen. Why don't you take this, Elise? The key? I won't be needing it where I'm going, that's for certain. Mr. Yugen, you be careful, at least. These folks aren't to be trusted. Blaming the witch for what happened to my horses. They're all in on it, that's what. I can't very well tell him it was the witch, can I? Kiefer Berg this, Kiefer Berg that. You're the one in this, you're the only one in this town who's not enamored with this rat. You're the only one in town who's not enamored with this rat hole of a town, at least. Uh, I suppose. Get away while you can, lest this place ruins you like it's ruined me. Sheesh. The little bro does not like Kieferberg. Oh, it must have been so frightening, Elise. I'd say it was more frightening for Apfel. It's one thing after another with him, isn't it? How is he, Elise? He seems a little dazed, if I'm honest. No wonder, the poor lad was lost in the woods for hours. I'll stop by Mrs. Lisbeth's first thing in the morning. She must be exhausted. Can't let Atfell speak of what we saw in the woods. Which you're as exhausted as Atfell, at least. I won't stay for long, Miss Ariane. Why don't we all have some ale? A nun drinking alcohol? Pretty strange if you ask me, miss. Can I step in the fire? I know this is a short, I know this has a lot of endings, so I'm probably gonna play a lot more of this and try out under other endings. But for now, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna do what they tell me to do. I'm like a thousand percent sure this is a bad ending though. I really don't trust this freaking, I don't, I don't trust this him guy, all right? No, no, I don't know. This is actually a really hard choice for me. I feel like this feels like a crossroads right here. I'm assuming I won't be able to do the tender flesh tomorrow. I'm assuming this is my only chance to do the tender flesh. So this kind of feels like a crossroads for me. Like, do I do the tender flesh and go down what I assume to be is a bad ending? Cause I don't see anything good coming from filling up that basket. Or should I just go home and like, and, and stray off of that path? Well, dang, I'm already moving. Y'all see what I chose. I'm going home. They want me to, I have to do this in the flesh. Okay. I had to get in there and get it over with. No, come on now. You can get in there yourself. You don't need, you, you, there's no way you needed me to click the key to get in there. You've come, you've come. The gift lasts a tender flesh. With it. I've come here to do just that, you wretch. Show it to me, show it to me. Your ardor, your longing for that wish of yours. This is ridiculous. I've already been in your grove, I cleared the trial. What else is it you want from me? Your commitment, your commitment. Show it to me, Lassie, your commitment. Yeah. 
What the hell? Why are you throwing organs at me? What is this? My goodness. That crow, it's gone. It's got my hair in it. I, it'll do, I suppose. It's best I get out of here. The sooner the better. When did I... It's that dream again, but I was in town just now. Don't look at me. Hey, back up. Back up. Yeah. Don't follow it. Why are you... Why would you run towards it? You again. Didn't you hear me? We'll be late for his banquet if you don't hurry. Banquet? What are you? You're too curious. It's morning already? I don't feel like I got any sleep at all. It's best I go find Rosemarine. I have no food. It's that horse again. I'm begging you, Fluck. What's going on out there? What y'all got going on, bruh? Oh, please stay put, Fluck. What's going into him? Oh, at least he's throwing a temper tantrum is all. I didn't know girls could do such a thing. 
I had my hands full with breakfast. I couldn't give her much attention. What'd you give her spoiling him so much? That's what. I know, but I can't resist his sweet little hops. You're truly. Are you feeling better today, Elise? You still haven't told me about what happened. I can't tell her the full extent of it, can I? Not about what I saw in the woods or about her. I'm sorry, I... Are you listening, Elise? Are you, right, Elise? you were telling me about the woods. Atfell got lost in the woods, that's all. I went in there to rescue him, I suppose. You're not telling me the whole truth, are you? Elise. you know, I... There's someone in those woods, Rosemary. I don't know who they are or what they want from me, but... I felt their presence there since Monday. Oh, that's... Someone in the woodland, you say? I'm certain they heard Atfell or Lord of Men, even. Have you seen that old hag again, Elise? The one who told you about him and the Testaments? I haven't seen that old hag since then, but that Rosemary and I met in the woods. I don't know what to make of any of this, do I? Sorry, I... Come, Rosemary, we should move along. Oh, it's best you go without me, Elise. I think I best find Flock. I'll be right there with you. <sighs> All right. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoy, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Tap into the next one. Make sure you also, bro, if you think I'm funny and you think your friends think gonna think I'm funny, then send me to your friends. You feel me? But peace out. I love y'all. Tap into the next one. Wow. This is getting. This is something.